Have you ever wondered about the untold stories of the men who were forced into the ghastly practice of slave breeding during the era of slavery? This tale is as old as time, buried under the sands of forgotten history yet resonating with potent meaning even in today's world. It is a tale of resilience, resistance, and the indomitable human spirit. It transports us to an era when freedom was a distant dream for many, an era that has left an indelible mark on our history. We dive into the raw and often heart-wrenching stories of these men who, despite being shackled in chains, harbor dreams of liberty and dignity. Our journey us back into the heart of the Caribbean, a region synonymous with paradisiacal beauty, yet marred by the harrowing memories of human subjugation. Here, amidst the swaying palms and azure waters, we delve into the lived experiences of these enslaved men. One such man whose story we seek to tell was known as Pata Seca. Despite the horrors he faced, his spirit refused to be crushed. Today, we journey back in time to the Caribbean, where we uncover the story of an enslaved man known as Pata Seca. Pata Seca, which translates to dry foot in English, was a man of Angolan descent who was brought to the Caribbean as a slave in the late 17th century. Known as a person of immense courage and determination, Pata Seca's tale is one that speaks volumes about the grim realities of the age. He was a man born free in the heartlands of Angola, a land renowned for its beautiful landscapes and vibrant culture, only to be wrenched away by the cruel hand of fate into a life of servitude and hardship. In the Caribbean, he became well known, not just among his fellow slaves but even amongst his masters. He was noted for his extraordinary physical power and stamina, qualities which, in a twisted irony, led to his further exploitation. His robust physique and remarkable endurance made him a beloved object of betting games and physical contests. Spectators, both slaves and masters alike, would often marvel at his almost superhuman strength. The paradox of his situation lay in the fact that these very traits, rather than leading to his liberation, made him a prime candidate for the inhumane practice of slave breeding. His masters, greedy for more such valuable assets, sought to exploit his genetics in a gross misuse of biology and human rights. This tragic tale of Pataseca serves as a grim reminder of a dark chapter in human history. Born in a small village in Angola, Pataseca was captured during a raid by European slave traders when he was just a young man. This was a time when the world was cruel and unforgiving, where the sanctity of life was merely an abstract concept. The young man, who had not yet experienced the full circle of life, was taken away from everything he had known and loved. He was forced into a ship, the belly of a monstrous beast, and made to endure a voyage across the Atlantic. This voyage, known as the Middle Passage, was a treacherous journey. The conditions were beyond horrific. The ship was a floating hell, filled with despair and untold suffering. Many people on board this nightmare did not make it to the other side. It was a journey of death, where survival was the only beacon of, but amidst this monstrous ordeal, Pataseca did survive. He held on to his life with a tenacity that could only come from the deepest instincts to endure, to survive, and to hope. Once they reached the Caribbean, he was sold off to a plantation owner, like an object to be owned and used. This new master saw him not as a human being with feelings and dreams, but as a physical specimen for his twisted schemes. Yet even in this dehumanizing situation, the plantation owner recognized Pataseca's physical attributes and decided to use him in his breeding program. The plantation owner, like many others of his time, believed in a sort of twisted natural selection. His view of the world was archaic and deeply rooted in a system of oppression. He saw his enslaved people not as human beings with rights and emotions, but as mere instruments, tools to be used for his gain. In his eyes, they were cogs in the machine of his thriving plantation, essential yet disposable. His theory centered around the belief just as in nature, only the strongest specimens of a species should be permitted to reproduce. The concept, when applied to the animal kingdom, was survival of the fittest, but in his context it was a grotesque distortion. He viewed the ability to withstand grueling labor as a desirable trait that should be passed on to future generations, much like a lion might pass on its strength and speed to its cubs. This social Darwinism was his justification for the selection of the strongest and healthiest enslaved men to father children. In his warped perspective, 
This was not a violation of human rights, but rather a method of ensuring the survival of his plantation, his wealth, and his way of life, as he perceived it. He thought that by choosing only the strongest and healthiest enslaved men to father children, he could ensure a new generation of slaves who were capable of enduring the grueling labor required on his plantation. Pataseka was forced to father countless children, most of whom he would never know. This narrative is one of unyielding resilience amidst a life marred by persistent adversity, a life that, in its raw and unvarnished, holds tales of enormous strength. It's a testament to the human spirit, the will to endure despite being thrown into a pit of unimaginable hardships. He stood firm, his spirit never yielding to the cruel world that sought to break him. Facing a life of forced breeding and exploitation, his existence took a turn that none could anticipate. However, Amidst this harsh reality, he found a way to uphold his dignity. He never allowed the harsh conditions to rob him of his humanity, even managing to show kindness and compassion to the women he was forced to be with. Beyond the pain and the sorrow, he discovered fragments of intimacy, striking clandestine relationships with some of these women, going against the norm in a world that seemed ruthlessly indifferent. Despite the unimaginable hardships he faced, he managed to maintain a sense of dignity and even managed to form clandestine relationships with some of the women he was forced to be with. Over time, Pata Seca's story became a symbol of resistance against the brutal, unrelenting system of slavery that cast a shadow over the era. His indomitable spirit and unyielding strength served as an emblem of endurance and perseverance, not just in the physical sense but also in the of mental and emotional fortitude. His tale echoed through the ages, across plantations and cotton fields, in whispered stories and hushed legends passed down from generation to generation. His resilience was unparalleled, a shining beacon, relentless strength in a sea of hopelessness. Amidst the brutality, Pataseka's story was a light that was never extinguished. His life was a testament to the sheer willpower of the human spirit, a demonstration of the power of hope and determination against unimaginable adversity. He became a beacon of hope for other enslaved people, a testament to the human spirit's ability to endure even the most horrific circumstances. As we look back on this somber period in human history, we must not forget the vital significance of recalling the identities of individuals like Pataseka, who were much more than mere casualties of a brutal system. They were not just numbers on a list or faceless entities, they were distinctive human beings with their unique narratives to tell. Each one of them possessed a strength that is unimaginable to many, and a resilience that often seemed to defy the harsh realities they were forced to endure. They were not just victims, they were fathers who loved their children with an intensity that was undiminished by their circumstances. They were sons who carried the hopes and dreams of their parents. They were brothers who stood as pillars of support for their siblings, even in the face of unimaginable adversity. They were individuals held within them a capacity to love, a dream that dared to envision a different future, and a hope that never dimmed despite the bleakness that surrounded them. These individuals held onto the belief in a life that was more than just survival, a life where they could thrive and not just exist. Their dreams were not limited to the bare necessities but expanded to experiences of joy, fulfillment, and a harmonious future. There was not restricted by their circumstances, but instead it transcended the physical barriers and reached out to touch the hearts of those around them. Their hope was not a fleeting illusion, but anchor that held them steady in the turbulent sea of their lives. Even in their darkest hours, these individuals never stopped dreaming, never ceased to love and never let go of their hope for a brighter, better tomorrow. They were not just victims, they were human beings in every sense of the word. They were people who loved, who dreamed, and who hoped for a better future. In conclusion, Pata Seca's story serves as a stark reminder of the horrors of the slave trade and the inhumane practice of slave breeding. It also serves as a testament to the strength and resilience of those who were forced to endure these atrocities. It's a narrative of survival, resistance, and the unbreakable human spirit. As we delve into history, let's remember to honor their memory and learn from their experiences. Thank you for tuning in.